his uh, on his own uh, jet, and he needed a hip replacement. And I've written an article about this that we can make available to people. That would be great. Um, he needed a hip replacement, and he was uh, limping. Um, and it took and this is record time. It took us about twenty minutes, and he was up dancing. And he said, we're going to get people in here. We're going to get all kinds of money people in here. We're going to get this to the public. We're going to do this. And his lawyer said, no, you're not. It doesn't have FDA approval. But shouldn't health in general be expedited at whatever it takes? Personally, I think that people should have choices, whether they're FDA approved, to move into health remedies and solutions and discoveries that they, in their own dominion, want a trial? Absolutely. There, to me, there's two kinds of marketing. Top-down, FDA approval, $6 million, da-da-da-da-da. Or there's bottom-up, take it to the people. So that's what we have done. We have made this available to the people under education, teaching them to do it, teaching them to give us back data. This is going to become... This is, at this point, medicine of the future. This new uh, DVD, Breaking the Sound Barriers of Disease, that you asked me about, Yes, it talks about this, but there's bonus footage there of all the doctors who have worked with us. And Dr. Shrucky gave me an incredible compliment. He said, when I don't know what to do, I send them to Sherry. She's the doctor's doctor. Wow. See, that's a royal rife type of thing to me. <laughs> that's the female royal rife. The doctors used to all go to him for help. Yes, if I could get this to the people, then my challenge on this earth would would be fulfilled. I, I just, I need, I'm selfish, I need people to have this. And we've got a wonderful crew working here that, you know, you hit the door running. But there's never enough money, there's never enough time, there's never enough people. We need people trained in every community. And we'll help them do it. We'll help them market. We'll help them get started. Um, anything that we can do to spread the word. I'd be happy to help you with that, starting with this show. But I'm so excited about what you're doing and the prospects of it and the immediate availability of it. You know, we don't have to let people like you go to your grave without this advancement being completely integrated into all of society. This doesn't have to happen anymore. I believe that the Internet is here to make sure that developments and advancements like this that are here are totally available and become a mainstay of use in society. If you're talking about being on mainstream broadcasting in terms of the networks, it would be very complex to get work like this up on traditional broadcasting and thank God for the internet. But the internet also allows the viral capability of this to be understood by the masses in the frame of reference that's not been put in place to go there. It's really talking about wellness and health, but using a totally different model, using a totally different paradigm and processes, and with affordability as part of the factor, because that's what it seems like. It seems like it's very doable. It's not so vastly expensive that the average person couldn't do it. We want to support optimal form and function for everyone. And Kaiser Permanente spends an average of $8,000 for anybody who has TMJ, temporal mandibular joint disorder. We can turn it around in uh, probably a day for about $800. That's amazing. The profiling that you do, though, the human bioacoustic uh, vocal profiling, is that what you're offering on the website, or is that something that takes, like, hours to do? Okay, there's two ways to look at this. One is vocal profiling, which is the information side of it. I'm not allowed to say diagnostic. Correct. So if somebody comes in and they says, okay, I want my nutrition checked, they send you back five or six reports of amino acids, vitamins. This one's high and this one's low. This one's high because you don't have this to make it work. And we're trying to design it so that people can do it for themselves. You can get a nutrition or a muscle report. We have about 30 computer programs, and we have about a little over 3,000 templates 
of things that we can look at for anybody um, that if they call in. Now, if they want something very specific and they want a full report, they need to send us a um, a WAV file like you do on Audacity because what we do over the computer, and people can watch. You know, when you fill out the little blanks, I want my voice done, they'll say, when's the best time to call you? Because you can watch this happen right over your computer. So, but if they have, if we find something serious, we're going to have you send in a WAV file so that we can look at it very specifically. Um, we want to make sure it's very accurate. And the reason we can do nutrition is there's only one thing nutritionally in the body that's duplicated. Um, Isoleucine and leucine are the same frequencies down to six decimal points. But that's the only one. Any other thing, if you get close, you're in a category by itself. So they can look at nutrition without bumping into other things. They can look at muscles without bumping into other things. And that's the predictive part of what we do. We can see what muscle is going to go in the next 30 days. That would be great for sports teams, professional sports teams. I was a former tournament tennis player for 13 years. I could have, <laughs> that would have been great years ago. It sounds like you can do the full body and very much kind of reminds me a little bit, just this one part of it, the predictive side. Instead of mammograms, there are thermograms and they've been around yes. for years. I'm sure you've heard of it. Yes. I use thermograms. And the interesting thing is you can see the heat that's surrounding an area that's telling you an area is in trouble, both for breast thermograms and for full body, but you can see things coming into the future by looking at it. I don't know about at the level of what you're doing. I mean, you have vast amounts of information that you're giving people rather than that one thermogram, you know, but this is really quite extraordinary through the voice. It's amazing. I used to say to people years ago that I've just had this gift. I can hear a person's voice, not quite the way you can, and I can tell you if they're in trauma, if they're lying, if they're sitting on something that they're unhappy about. A lot. It's like it's very much packed into the voice. I don't know where I got it from, but it's been one of my gifts. So I've always been interested in the voice, and it's really quite a pleasure to talk to you. Think about if we got all the people that, in a room that could do that, what we could go for. If we looked at their hearing, we looked at their voice, what could we really go for? I think it's going to happen. You go to your doctor they take your temperature, they take your blood pressure, and they take your vocal print. I can totally see that. I can totally see that, but I have a feeling it will happen with this new kind of evolution of complementary medicine doctors, anti-aging doctors, naturopaths. It's coming out yeah. all over. You think so? Yeah, well, there was a, an article in this month's Scientific American about a guy who had invented a flute and he said if you play the flute, it really helps your lungs and congestion and bronchial tissue. Oh, I heard that, actually. And th um, it's 16 cycles per second, which we have already known for years that that's the frequency for T12 and the frequency for the diaphragm. Well, he said he invented it by doing sounds and finding out that 16 cycles per second, when he sang it, it rumbled his lungs. Well, one, nobody can sing 16 cycles per second. So he's kind of fibbing there. But he also said that it was FDA approved, and I looked at the patent, and it's proved, approved for spittle collection, <laughs> not for lungs. But people are coming out with these wonderful, inventive ways to use these frequencies. It's just incredible. We know frequencies that will scatter mosquitoes. We know frequencies to call bugs in, to zap them so they don't ruin your field. We know frequencies that will distort your perception of time. And we're just waiting until the public is ready. I think that the public is more ready than they've ever been, don't you? Yes. And they're ready to hear. But some people are, are providing information without integrity. For, for instance, I love the movie The Secret, but it leaves out how can you find out what your authentic self is. Short story. I was doing a, a workshop for uh, the Agape Church in um, Los Angeles, Michael Beckwith's people. And a couple minutes before uh, we were to start, this woman came up to me, and she said, I am going to be your guinea pig for this evening. 
And I said, well, by whose authority? Because I thought maybe Michael had sent her. And she said, mine. The secret